To record in 2K resolution in OBS Studio, it's quite simple. First stop is the Settings tab down in the bottom right-hand corner. Click that and it'll pull open all of the menus that you need to do optimal settings to record in 2K. Your first stop is the Video tab on the left-hand side. Click that. That's where we're going to select your resolution for your canvas, which is the area down here where you can preview the content that you're going to record, and also the output scaled resolution, which is the actual resolution of the recording itself. You're going to want to bump both of these up to 2K resolution. And that resolution, you're going to have to manually type into the first base canvas resolution field, and that is 2560 x 1440. Copy that and then paste it into the output scaled resolution 2560 x 1440, otherwise known as 1440p. Your next field that you're going to want to select here is your downscale filter. I recommend bumping it up to 36 samples because likely your computer is powerful enough to handle that if you're doing 2K recordings. You have two very common frame rate selections to make here. If you're doing things like this video or presentations or business stuff or webinars, 30 frames per second direct to camera kind of stuff, 30 frames per second right here is great. If you're doing high motion items like playing trailers or high motion videos, you're doing gaming gameplay, you'll want to bump this up to 60 frames per second. I'll go over the best bit rates for both today in a later section of this tutorial. Now you'll want to hit apply but do not yet hit OK. Great. Your next stop is going to be the Audio tab right over here. There's a number of settings I highly recommend double checking before you get into your recording. The first one is your sample rate. Take a look at the sample rate of your audio device. If you don't know what it is, Google it. Google the name of your audio device and find out what the sample rate is. 440, or I'm sorry, 44.1 kilohertz or 48 kilohertz figure out which one yours is, and select that. Then you will want to disable all of your audio devices that OBS will automatically shove in there by default. I recommend disabling all of them so that you can manually add them yourself down here so you have full control in your audio mixer down here of every device and every setting so you don't accidentally have random stuff popping up in your audio recording you are not aware of, such as your desktop audio popping in on your mic recording, and you didn't understand why. If you disable all of this and you manually add it, those mistakes can be avoided. Next, hit Apply, but do not yet hit OK. Our next stop is the most important tab, the Output tab right over here. This is where you're going to do a lot of your very advanced settings. So by default, this tab is going to be looking like this. It's going to be on Simple Output Mode. You do not want to use simple output mode, especially for 2K recordings, because you are going to be doing something that is quite advanced, actually. So skip the streaming tab once you have selected advanced up here under output mode and go straight to the recording tab. That's where we're going to select our bitrate and all those advanced settings. Here, you want to select a custom recording path. And because these files are going to be quite large for your recordings, it is very important that you hit browse right here and you create a folder hopefully on a storage drive or a hard drive that has a lot of space i've got an extra storage drive on this computer for example and you select a folder that is just for your recordings right there great for your recording format i recommend using mp4 it is the most compatible recording format out there for all editors and softwares and apps mp4 is good and only do audio track one from most applications Okay, here is a critical thing we need to talk about because you are trying to do something that is advanced and very hardware intensive, 1440p recordings, quad HD, whatever you want to call it. Your encoder right here, by default, is going to be the X264 encoder. That encoder uses your processor to take on the load of these recordings. Because you're doing 2K recordings, your processor will probably get hammered by this recording. So I do not recommend using the X264 uh, encoder unless you have one of the best processors on Earth. Okay? I recommend instead using an NVIDIA NVENC encoder. Now, if you do not have that option, unfortunately, you may need to upgrade your computer to get that option. The reason why 
is by having a dedicated graphics card, such as an NVIDIA graphics card, a 2000 series or better graphics card. Your graphics card will take on the load of this recording for you so that your processor does not have to take on that load. So you have to make that decision for yourself, but I see very few cases where not having an NVIDIA graphics card works for you here. You have to use an NVENC encoder to have this be reliable in most cases. If you would like a recommended option for 2K recordings, I'll have in the description below this production laptop. I use it for multi-million dollar webinars and my high-end clients and professional broadcasters that I manage that do this for a living, make six figures doing home broadcasting, they use this laptop. It's an MSI Creator laptop with a dedicated RTX 2060 graphics card. It's got the fastest processor that is available in a laptop, and it has a one terabyte hard drive to store these big old files on your computer and 32 gig of RAM. And most importantly, the monitor on this laptop is 4K resolution, which means that you can record in 2K and 4K on the same computer. Link in the description below. It's under $2,000. It is the most efficient machine on the market today to do 2K and 4K recordings for the lowest possible price. You don't have to buy an extra monitor. You don't have to buy a mouse and keyboard. You can literally do everything on one machine. It is the cheapest way to do these sorts of requiring, uh, recordings reliably on a pre-made computer. Great. So in terms of your rate control for your recording, I highly recommend selecting constant bit rate so that you have a very, very consistently high recording quality as you do this. Others will recommend variable bit rate. I don't recommend doing that because you don't want your computer load to be going up and down and up and down and have your resolution get pixely in the middle of this. So do CBR. For your bit rate, for a 2K recording, the minimum bit rate is 16,000. So that is very big. So every single second, you're gonna be using 16 megabytes of data per second. That is for a 30 frames per second recording. If you're gonna be doing a 60 frames per second recording, then you need to bump this number up to 24,000 kbps. That's 24 megabytes per second you're gonna be eating up doing these recordings. These are the minimums. You can, go, you can increase it from here if you'd like, but these are the minimums based on YouTube's recommended specifications. Given that you probably have a very powerful computer to do this task, leave your keyframe interval on auto zero. I recommend doing your preset at max quality so you can maximize that quality. Leave your profile on high, leave cycle visual tuning on, and I don't recommend turning on look ahead for everyone because this can mess things up. But if you do want to use look ahead, check this box and then select GPU two to do that sort of recording, okay? I'm gonna put it back at zero and I'm gonna turn off look ahead because I do not recommend that for most users. What you wanna do is hit apply, but do not yet hit okay. Your next stop is going to be the audio tab, an often ignored tab for people that are doing high quality recordings. By default, track one is gonna be at 160 bit rate right here. And that means that your recording quality is a low to mid tier MP3, that's not good. You're trying to do 2K recordings, you're trying to go higher quality, right? So increase this quality to 320 to maximize the bit rate. You're doubling your bit rate for audio. Your quality will go through the roof from a low to mid-tier quality MP3 up to a maximum quality MP3. Hit apply, and you now have my permission to hit OK. Great. Now your canvas is 2K, but oh no, your source that you have there, for example, may be knocked out of uh, knocked out of alignment. Maybe it's the wrong size now. So what you can do. This is a 4K webcam, by the way. You can right click on whatever your source is, go down to transform and do fit to screen, and it will bring whatever your source is into full screen for you. This is a 4K source you see here, so I'm able to scale it down to 2K in order to do this recording. Now, it's time to do the recording itself. Here's your moment to test this to see if your computer can handle it. 
click the start recording tab down here in the bottom right hand corner and just see how your computer's handling this thing. This is a 2K recording. It should be just fine if you have a dedicated processor. You get confirmation that you're recording with the red dot here and you'll see your CPU usage right down here. I'm doing a 2K recording right now on this computer with this graphics card and OBS is only using five to 6% of my processor. That is glorious. Let me share with you what would happen if I was only using my processor. And by the way, I have a lightning fast processor on this computer. Let me just share with you what that would look like. I'm just gonna switch this over from the NVENC encoder to the X264 encoder. And I'm gonna bump this up to the recommended minimum, 16,000. And I'm gonna show you the difference between having that NVENC encoder or not, okay? This is without the dedicated graphics card. I'm starting the recording. And as you can see, when I move around, my CPU usage down here in the bottom right hand corner, check it out right down here. I'm gonna wave my arms. As you can see, my CPU usage before was 5% and now it is up to 30%. And I have one of the top five fastest processors on earth. Can you afford to use 30% of your processor only on OBS with whatever you're doing? If not, you should consider getting a dedicated graphics card for your rig. Wanted to demonstrate that for you enthusiasts that are recording in 2K. If you would like my help with your YouTube strategy, your online video strategy, your social media strategy, I've literally been doing this for a living for the last 10 years. I founded the biggest gaming video network in the world and I've been a media executive for 15 years and I'm now coaching people one-on-one. -on -one. AWOLdigital.com is my website. Go there, scroll down, pick your day, pick your time. I'll jump on a one-on-one -on -one video call with you to help you with your home studio, help you with your equipment, help you with your setup, help you with your strategy, help you become successful like many of my clients have that now have millions of followers. And I'm gonna teach you best practices and help you with your online broadcasting, help you improve each and every time you meet.